you're looking to sell your home and you've got some questions that are needing some answers. Well, welcome. I'm Melissa Shaw of Lewis Realtors. And today we're talking about some additional seller frequently asked questions. It's a second part of a three part series. And at the top of the list today is a question I get most frequently for sure. And it is, how do I know who's coming into my home? Well, let me tell you, there is a system, a tracking system, and it's a lockbox device that basically is placed on the exterior of your home and it's tracked with whoever opens that door. So it's always going to be a realtor. Only realtors have access to these lock boxes and it will track the realtor's name, phone number, email, and the company that they're with. So we'll be able to track who's coming in and out of your home and actually when they open the lock box and when they leave the property as well and close the lock box. The number two question that I frequently get is, should I be gone for home inspections? And the absolute 100% answer to that is yes. You should allow for around two to three hours, depending on the size of your property and the land, you may need up to five hours. But it's really the opportunity, one of the main opportunities for a buyer to come into your home and really get a good idea of its condition, take measurements and do a second look at anything else that they may need to look at. Another really frequent question that I get from homeowners who are looking to sell their home is how long do I, as a seller's agent, listing agent, need from the time from photos, videography to list date? And a good rule of thumb is about five business days. We need enough time to allow for marketing, printing, publishing, signage delivery, and things like that. Two weeks overall at minimum up to three weeks, depending on the type of marketing that is being done to your home from initial appointment. So I hope you find that information helpful for your planning purposes as well. Another frequent question I get is, do I have to do an in-person signing? I have travel coming up or I'm going to be overseas. And the answer to that is theoretically on the deed, yes. You need wet signatures, you need the original signatures on the deed to sign over to the new homeowner. But most of the other documents can be done by electronic signature. Now there are exceptions to that. The deed can be mailed and sent back, which leads me to my other last most frequent question regarding this is, can I sign while I'm overseas? Sometimes we've got overseas commitments and we'll be overseas at the closing time. And the answer is yes. There is a service available through a lot of title companies that is called a RON signing. And the RON signing allows for remote signing for sellers. And the notary will verify who you are, get the necessary documentation, which will allow you to sign while you're overseas. So thanks for tuning in today. Please tune in next week for the final third part end of the series for seller frequently asked questions. But in the interim, if you have any real estate related questions, please click the link below, get in contact with me, and I'll get your questions answered.